Hey, Arnold, are you in a hurry to go to your favorite job? But why is everyone so gloomy? What? The boss says you beat up Chris yesterday, dumped trash on Jamie's desk, and did something disgusting with Miss Wallace. Of course, you don't remember any of that, but your colleagues don't care. Run, Arnie! This is the end, buddy. Farewell to your one true love. And here he is, our hero of the day. A strong blow to the head has woken up Jacob again, Arnie's other personality. Or in scientific terms, his alter ego. It's called Dissociative Identity Disorder. With this disease, power over the body of the patient is completely captured by another personality. The cause of the disorder may be trauma during childhood. The child blocks off memories of bad events and starts to consider himself someone else. Jacob, unlike Tim and Arnold, doesn't suffer from multiple complexes. He's fearless and sexy, and he'll stop at nothing. Even somebody as petulant as Tagai is intrigued. But there is one thing. Jacob can only speak Dumi, which is a language common to only Eastern Nepal. The alter ego often differs from one's main personality in the language of communication, gender, age, nationality, and even IQ. And in especially exotic cases, the alter ego can be an animal or even a religious figure. The maximum number of alter egos in one person was identified in an American criminal named Billy Milligan, who had 24 different full-fledged personalities. Billy was acquitted in court as crimes he'd committed were actually committed by one of his alter egos, unbeknownst to Billy himself. Arnold, just look at what you've done. It seems now you think you're a psycho and you need to be treated. But split personality is not schizophrenia, and there's simply no cure. What's that? An SMS from Tagai. She wants you to come to her now. Inside Arnold, there can be only one. Did you actually lose your job as a pizza delivery guy? Now, just imagine if you had two heads. You'd be way more popular. Your life would be much more interesting. You'd be smarter. And you could finally learn how to ride a bike normally. Look, this is the same guy from the sign, the circus ringmaster. Oh my god, did that lion actually just swallow the whole two-headed dude? No, actually, it seems the heads are unharmed. But what's going to happen now? Is the big show of the season canceled? Hey, it seems the manager has noticed you and wants you to be in the cast. But only if you agree to have these two good-as-new heads sewn onto your body. Isn't that what you've always dreamed of? Well, since you agree, I think you should find out more about the upcoming surgery. The first successful head transplantation was done by Charles Guthrie in 1908. He did it on dogs, though. One of the heads was sewn to the neck of a dog's body upside down. In the 1950s, Demikhov achieved full functioning of a second head. He transplanted 20 heads together with the front half of the dogs. Then the head of one dog was transplanted onto the body of another. And then there was a monkey, which, after transplantation, even tried to bite one of the doctors. In 2013, Sergio Canavero announced plans for a human head transplant. The estimated cost was $12.8 million. In 2017, under his leadership, a dead human head was transplanted onto a corpse. Actually, it suits you, Arnold. Now it's time to rehearse your part. I hope you don't screw up and disgrace mm. these beautiful heads. <gasps> You're gonna have to juggle as you ride your unicycle on a springboard through burning hoops. Yay! They don't seem to like you being so stupid, Arnie. Try not to interfere with the professionals managing your body. All that's required of you is to not spoil the performance.
The grand premiere. All eyes are fixed on you, Arnold. Today, you are the main part of the show. Fingers crossed, buddy. You're doing great. Just a little more and... Is that Tagaya over there? Did she come to see you? No, no, don't get distracted. Not now, Arnold. What a doofwad. By trying to be a gentleman, you disgraced yourself and the Truel brothers. That was the greatest failure this circus has ever seen. Psst. Arnold! Arnold! Wake up! You pissed them off so much that they want to get rid of you. You know you can't run away from them, right? Although, you're so clumsy, you seem to have succeeded. Almost succeeded. Congratulations! You have a chance to be the first person to get cloned. Get in the machine, Arnold. What could possibly go wrong? Now, let's do a little testing. Hmm, what's this? The cloning didn't work as I expected. Your brain is split in two with each of you having just one of the hemispheres. Blind. The corpus callosum connects the hemispheres of the brain and consists of 200 to 250 million nerve fibers, each several centimeters long. If your grandma were to knit them into a thread, she could wrap it around the earth three times. That's amazing. Let's test your cognitive abilities. Well done, left-brained Arnold. Right brain Arnold, what are you doing? Yep, yep, yep. Ah, right, the left hemisphere is responsible for language. The left hemisphere controls the right side of the body, and the right hemisphere controls the left. So if you remove the corpus callosum, as is done in severe cases of epilepsy, the person will initially confuse their left and right limbs. Let's get everything back to how it was. Get in the machine, Arnolds. Yes, one at a time. Don't push. We won't start without both of you anyway. Be careful. Hmm, seems to be jammed. Hang on a sec, buddy. Most areas of the brain in the two hemispheres are duplicated. Therefore, if one hemisphere is removed, or if a person is born with only one, the other hemisphere can compensate for the lost one's function, and the person can lead a totally normal life. So. How do you feel, Arnie? Hmm, is that the other Arnold's finger? Ah! Elon Musk's spaceship has crashed. Another failure after the disastrous launch of the Cybertruck. He really wants to colonize Mars. Elon Musk has managed to dehydrate people and pack them into capsules. Look. It works like instant noodles. Just add water. On board, there were 67.5 billion capsules. So now, there will be 10 times as many dumbasses on Earth. But this isn't your problem. Although, actually, it probably is your problem as well now. With so many people, they can't all be provided with transport. It's faster to walk. Each person on the planet produces about 0.75 kilograms of garbage every day. So, more than 200 trillion tons of garbage per year. This is enough to completely fill about 99 Grand Canyons. Power plants are being built everywhere because 75 billion people consume about 125 billion kilowatts per day. This amount of electricity is enough to charge 8 trillion iPhones. But this also means emitting huge amounts of CO2 into the atmosphere. You don't need to be a genius to realize just how seriously this will affect the climate. Free space is in short supply. So here are your new roommates. Only men. Reproduction is strictly prohibited by law under penalty of death. This world definitely doesn't need any little Arnold Rugrats running around. Although, you were unlucky with women anyway. By the way, you hungry? You want to eat something? All food is now synthetic and recycled. You just tasted a recycled toilet paper patty. I cooked it just for you, like pearls before swine. Anyway, you still have to spend the night in this corner. Due to the increase in CO2, all the glaciers have melted and flooded 35% of the land. 
Given the agricultural needs of people for food, less than 1% of land is left for housing. Now, only rich people can afford to sleep with their legs extended. Damn, Arnold, I envy such a shorty like you. Go sit and watch a movie on the internet on Slow Fix. Oops, to enter, you need to take a number and stand in line. You are the 1,250th. Due to overpopulation, internet speeds have dropped by 99.5%. Look where you're going! 20-story cemeteries are only for millionaires. The rest of the population are buried on any free piece of land. Pack your bags! Elon Musk built an ark from ocean debris and said he'd move you to the underwater Las Vegas. Cities are now built 9,000 meters underwater, like Everest, but down instead of up. You can finally rest, Arnie. At least in your hallucinations. What's up? Yeah, looks like everything's getting weird and buggy. <laughs> Distinguishing virtual reality from reality is becoming more and more difficult every day. Ooh, deja vu. Calm down, you paranoid pinhead. Stray animals often break into houses to find food. Or maybe the world around you is a simulation. Relax, buddy, it's an optical illusion. If you change your viewing angle, everything falls into place. But after all, truth be told, everything you see really is just a figment of your brain's imagination. Light entering your retina is converted into an impulse that transmits information to the visual image processing system. From there, the signal goes to your brain and you see what you see. And when, woo, woo, what a beauty. Hmm, another glitch or a consequence of popular trends in mass markets. Such synchronicity can make you think you're losing your mind. Yes, Arnold, you're right. This definitely needs to be recorded. But take your phone out of your pocket slowly and carefully, buddy. Or the police might think that you're reaching for a weapon. This is how the illusion works. The reticular formation in your brainstem becomes excited. Hey, where are you going, you coward? Arnold, who's this? No, 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 don't even think about it. This is not the Matrix. That's a bad idea, Arnold. Almost as bad as making a sequel to the legendary trilogy. Meet Arnold is a hallucination, and the effects are now 300 times stronger. And Arnold's brain turns into goo. In fact, just like him, this requires serious medical intervention. What the heck? Am I, am I glitching now too? How can you tell what's real and what isn't? Write in the comments about your glitches. <laughs> and I think I need to go lie down for a little while. Today, you're in Area 51, and now you're going to be teleported. Let me explain how teleportation works. Particles A and B are quantumly entangled. This means they can interact faster than the speed of light. If you scan particle C and its interaction with A, then B can be turned into C. Now, all that remains is to scan the seven octillion atoms in your body and recreate them on the other side of the Earth. Here we go. Phew! It worked! Or maybe not. According to the hypothesis, all neurons on Earth have two possible life cycles. 1% of neurons can transition from one world to another, becoming a mirror neuron. So, Army, buddy, you've ended up in a parallel universe. There were no pandemics here. Space technologies developed super quickly and provoked an alien attack. And I thought our 2023 was the worst. Sorry, Arnold. Nothing can save you now. Except for artificial intelligence, which also decided to take over the world on the sly. Hurry, Arnold! Grab the portal gun! It can take you home! Arnold, no, that's not your universe! Right at the most interesting moment. After coming back on the 27th, he returned to find not a single male left on Earth.
Everything has gone wrong. Telephones and microwaves don't work. Uber has been replaced with bicycles and horse-drawn carts. Instead of lamps and houses, candles have been lit again. This is because all of the areas in which mostly men previously worked have now ground to a halt. Arnold, why are you running away? Every day, your body produces up to 70 million spermatozoa. You could physically fertilize up to eight women per day. But since many have disdained even touching you, it was decided to artificially plant your seed in the egg cells. 